Objective. To understand gravitational potential due to a uniform ring and a uniform spherical shell. Gravitational potential due to a uniform ring. Consider a uniform circular ring of mass m and radius a. Let's calculate the gravitational potential at point P at a distance of x along its axis. Consider an infinitely small element of mass dm at a point A on the ring. Then the distance z of this element A from P is square root of A squared plus x squared. Gravitational potential at P due to this element dm is minus g dm by z. Considering all such elements, the net gravitational potential at P due to the complete ring is equal to integral of dV. Therefore, V equals integral of minus g dm by z. Upon integration, we get V equals minus gm by z. Hence, the gravitational potential due to the complete ring is minus gm by square root of a squared plus x squared. Gravitational potential due to a uniform spherical shell. Consider a uniform spherical shell of mass m and radius a. Let's calculate the gravitational potential at P, which is at a distance r from the center O of the shell. A spherical shell can be considered as a collection of infinite number of rings. Consider one such infinitely thin ring element of the shell, such that any point on the ring is at a distance z from P, and it subtends an angle theta at O with the line OP. The radius of this ring is A sine theta and its thickness is A d theta. Area of the ring element is the product of its circumference and thickness. Mass of this elemental ring is mass of the shell divided by its surface area multiplied by surface area of the ring element. Therefore, dm equals m by 2 sine theta d theta. Gravitational potential at P due to this ring element is minus gdm by z. So, dv equals minus g by z m by 2 sine theta d theta. From triangle AOP z squared equals a squared plus r squared minus 2 ar cos theta. Upon differentiating both sides of the equation, 2z dz equals 2ar sine theta d theta and sine theta d theta equals z dz by ar. Hence, dv equals g by z m by 2, z dz by a r. Case 1. Potential at an external point. If point P lies outside the sphere, z varies from r minus a to r plus a. Hence, the net gravitational potential at P is given by integrating dV within the limits r minus a to r plus a. V equals minus gm by 2 ar integral of dz within the limits r minus a to r plus a. Upon integration we get V equals minus gm by 2 ar z within limits r minus a to r plus a. On substituting the limits, the net gravitational field outside the shell is
minus gm by r. Hence, for all external points, the spherical shell can be assumed to be a point mass concentrated at its center. Case 2. Potential at an internal point. If point P lies inside the spherical shell, then Z varies from A minus R to A plus R. Hence, the net gravitational potential at P is integral of dV within the limits. V equals minus gm by 2 AR integral of dZ within the limits. After integration, we get V equals minus gm by 2 AR Z within the limits. On substituting the limits, The net gravitational field inside the shell is minus gm by a. Hence, gravitational potential at any point inside the shell is constant and is equal to the gravitational potential on the surface. Summary. The gravitational potential due to a uniform ring at a distance x is minus gm by square root of a squared plus x squared. The gravitational potential due to a spherical shell for any interior point is constant and is equal to gravitational potential on its surface. For any exterior point at a distance r from its center, it is minus gm by r.